My name is Sunil Malia. I work for the machine learning team at AWS in San Francisco. So this is the Depressor car. We wanted a little racy feel, but friendly. I like to say the car looks almost like a little puppy. <laughs> A guiding principle as we built the car was it needed to be small enough that people could use that in their house, in their garage, or in their offices. We picked a 118 scale chassis. The total car weighs around 3.6 pounds. Another design goal was keeping it very simple. We understand the complexity of reinforcement learning. We didn't want people to have the additional burden of hardware and uh, all the sensors, etc. Taking the hood off, let's actually look at what's inside. So the car currently is visual driven. The input into the car is purely an image. The camera runs at four megapixels, but we don't necessarily need four megapixels worth of information to actually drive the car. So we actually resample the image into a 160 by 120 grayscale image because we don't need color information to do what we do. In fact, by grayscaling the image, we actually get better simulation to real life transfer. The car does have other sensors like a gyroscope. And over time, we will allow people to use all these and have a more complex input into the system. So it's a single camera, but the camera is actually detachable. In the future, you'll be able to actually put a left camera and a right camera and create a composite image. We have made the hardware platform as extensible as possible, so you could actually use the Intel Movidia stick to extend this. So this is the compute battery. We encourage people to actually experiment a lot. So we got a battery that can last a few hours. This is the power of the USB, but it also has a HDMI port. You can plug the HDMI port because the car runs Ubuntu Linux. So it's almost like a mobile desktop. Now let's look inside the car. So this is the RC chassis part, and this is the compute part. Now, this is the heat sink uh, for the car, so we don't want you to get your hands burned because there's some heavy computation that happens here. You'll see two different connections. One connection is to the servo motor, which does the steering. The other one is called the ESC. This essentially is a throttle piece. The car has a separate battery, lithium ion batteries. That is also pretty easy to replace. So this is a monster truck chassis, so the car has a pretty decent uh, suspension. And the car so far we've seen can go 15, 20 miles an hour. At a 118 scale car, the car going 20 miles an hour, if you do the math, it comes to around 360 miles an hour. That's really fast. <laughs> Well, there are a little fun component here. We have a little tail light. Uh, it's actually customizable LED. You can you know, have a violet, purple, red. Uh, so it's just fun to distinguish your car and give it your own touch. At Amazon, think big uh, is one of the leadership principles. So we don't hold back on experimenting. So we thought, uh, okay, we're gonna actually build an autonomous car and use reinforcement learning, which not a lot of people had done before. But we knew if we built this, it would be compelling for our customers. The Deep Racer story is a big idea, which we think is going to be impactful. Don't miss out on your chance to compete for the Championship Cup. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Deep Racer TV on YouTube. And now you can find the entire season of Deep Racer TV on Amazon Prime. Sunil so Sami, yeah, what's up with your thumb? What <laughs> I was fighting with a kangaroo. I was in the Thumb Wrestling League. I actually gave the world's deadliest hi-fi. I'm just trying to be ambidextrous.